We have wonderful news for everyone who loves TradingView alerts, and that news is that we have effectively doubled the number of alerts available to you as a TradingView member. So if you have a TradingView plan, you now have double the alerts as before, depending on the type of alerts you make, because we've split up alerts into two separate categories price alerts and technical alerts. So for example, if you are on the free basic plan, so you are just a free TradingView user, you now have two alerts, one technical and one price alert. If you're on the pro plan, you have 40 alerts, 20 technical and 20 price. If you are on the pro plus plan, you have 200 alerts, 100 technical alerts and 100 price alerts. And if you are on the highest tier plan, the most powerful plan, if you have a premium TradingView plan, you now have 800 alerts, including 400 technical alerts and 400 price alerts. So depending on the plan you have, you have alerts to fit your strategy or style. Whether you are an investor or a trader, you have alerts that you can create specific to the goals you have for markets. Now, we want to show you some examples so that you can see what the real difference is between a price alert and a technical alert. The key is, as a TradingView member, you want to take advantage of these two types of alerts. Remember, there's a price alert, and that is totally different and counted differently than a technical alert. So two types of alerts, double the alerts, depending on the type of alert you use. We are now going to open up our alerts window. We just click the alerts icon, and here we are. You may notice at the top of the alerts window, there are two icons that you have potentially never seen before. Pay close attention to these icons. This is where you can count the number of alerts you've used depending on the type of alert. So first of all, you'll see we, you've, we have used 54 price alerts of the 400 available to us. And we've used only six technical alerts of the 400 available to us. Keep in mind, we are logged in as the official TradingView account where we have premium. So we have 800 total alerts to use, 400 price alerts and 400 technical alerts. If you look down, you can see all of the alerts that we've created or the alerts that have fired off. There is our alerts log at the bottom as well. And currently we are sorting, sorting our alerts by the ones that have triggered most recently. You may notice we are using webhooks to send alerts to our official Discord server, which we can talk about later, but you can create alerts for all different types of needs and purposes. Whether you're creating a price alert about an all-time high, or using webhooks to power your app or service or server. Now, before we get too far off here, you know, off topic, let's get back to the difference between price alerts and technical alerts. So we have 54 price alerts currently being used and we're gonna bring this up to 55 with a real example right now. We click year to date and we notice that the year to date high on this NVIDIA chart, NVDA, we are looking at a chart of NVIDIA, is about $280 per share. So we hover our mouse over $280 per share and we right click and then we click add alert and now we are going to make a price alert. Why is this a price alert? This is a price alert because it is only about price. It is not using an indicator, a strategy, or a drawing tool. This is just the price of an asset, in this case NVIDIA, crossing above $280 per share. So this is a price alert NVDA crosses up 280. So this is the name of the alert, price alert. And in the exact message we'll get, so when the message fires off and we wanna get a message, let's just remind ourselves, price alert example, YouTube video. And now let's click create 
And if you pay close attention here, you'll, you'll notice immediately our alert was created based on this orange line and our price alerts have suddenly jumped up to 55. We just used a price alert. But notice that our technical alerts did not budge because this is not a technical alert. This is a price alert. Let's create another price alert so we can really make sure that this is crystal clear. 55, we're going to show you how this goes up to 56 and our technical alerts won't budge at all. So we notice on the chart that there is a gap here. This is a very interesting gap on the chart of NVIDIA. As you'll know, or some of you may not know, there are schools of traders out there who love to trade gaps or mark down gaps as key levels to watch. So what we are going to do is actually right click, it says about $210 per share on this gap. So let's make sure we right click and let's click add alert and we want to do $210 per share so let's type in 210 and we want to do crossing down so below 210 keep in mind this is a price alert there are no drawing tools no indicators no strategies it is just very simply if nvidia hits a price we get an alert so let's do price alert example number two so this is the alert name as we'll see it and let's do gap fill exclamation mark so the message is a gap fill now let's click create and instantly we see the alert created on our chart and look at our price alerts they have now gone up to 56 you have just watched us create two price alerts hopefully now you understand what a price alert is and why it's different from a technical alert it's as simple as right clicking on the chart typing in a price that you want to wait for set the alert up wait for it to be triggered and you are now using one of your price alerts okay we're going to delete these because we need to now show you a technical alert this is the best way for you to understand the difference between price alerts and technical alerts let's do an example we're going to stay on this chart of nvidia the only difference is we're going to open the indicators metrics and strategies menu we are now going to go to technicals and we are going to type in moving average and now we're going to select moving average and you'll see a moving average has been added to the chart ideally you see where we're going with this we are making a technical alert a moving average is a technical indicator so let's do a 50 day moving average let's click OK now we have this wonderful looking moving at moving average here and actually that looks quite interesting to watch let's go to year to date and we can now right click on this moving average and at the very top it says add alert on ma or moving average let's click that and now we are going to create an alert on a moving average but for this example we want to make sure that we are creating an alert on a moving out on this moving average when it goes below crossing down so let's do crossing down this 50-day moving average we only want it to be triggered once and let's do alert name nvda goes below moving average okay and in the message let's just say reminder this is an example of a technical alert exclamation mark now before we create create click create let's remember we have our price alerts here and our technical alerts here watch our technical alerts go from six to seven click create alert has been created this orange line and now we've used up seven technical alerts so you're probably starting to see the difference this is a technical alert whereas before we showed you a price alert now we want to make sure we don't stop this tutorial here because there is one more thing that we want to show you and let's actually do well, we'll keep this set seven for now what we're going to do is draw a trend line because it's important to know that you can create charts with trend lines and get alerts based off those trend lines so let's click year to date and what's so interesting is if you look at this chart of NVIDIA is there seems to be an interesting trend line in play. You have the start of the year down here. 
It didn't quite touch, but got fairly close. It bounced perfectly here. And now you can see the last two candles have been riding the trend line near perfectly. So why don't we create an alert that says if NVIDIA breaks through this trend line and drops through it, let's be alerted. So we can click the alert here and right click, add alert on a trend line. Let's do crossing down. Let's say that this is a technical technical alert drawing tool and let's just say crossing down below trend line okay now remember we're at seven technical alerts when we click create watch what happens it's now up to eight so we've shown you how you have double the alerts and we've given you two examples for price alerts and for technical alerts and how you can use them remember you have tons of alerts to use. Don't let them go to waste. This is how you can always stay informed about markets. Quick note, we deleted that uh, trend line, so the alert was removed. Going back to alerts, this is how you can stay informed about markets. What's equally important about alerts is you can create a system that works perfectly for you and your needs. You don't have to watch the chart every single second. You can actually find a level on that chart, set the alert, get the TradingView mobile app, and you will be alerted on your mobile app through email or even right here on your desktop when that price or technical alert is hit. So it is an effective way to build a strategy or process that gets you your time back. You can mark down that alert wait for it to trigger and then get to work there's no reason to wait and wait and watch every second instead let the alert do the hard work for you and going back to the start of this video and the point of it the best part about all of this is you now have price alerts and you also have technical alerts and they are split into two different types of alerts and you get to decide how many you want to use of each but just know that they are now doubled from what it previously was because they've been split into two separate categories. So use these tools wisely, get out there and give them a try. And remember, on your alerts window, just click it, the, click the alerts icon to open it. You can track and follow all of your price alerts, all of your technical alerts. You can sort in a number of different ways based off of the ticker, name, message, date created, time triggered, and you can very quickly stop alerts, you can restart alerts, you can edit them, and you can remove them. We've made a number of videos on our YouTube channel already about alerts. Please go back and watch those. We also have even more information in our help center about alerts. So thank you for watching this video. We hope it helps you get started. And remember, you have price alerts and technical alerts. We're so excited to see what you do with them. Thanks for watching.